Startup Passion is all about, as it says already, passion in the Baltic Sea area and region. So we try to combine three different kind of countries and creating cross-border uh, entrepreneurial spirits and of course also like startups. So young uh, entrepreneurial mindset, it, students have the possibility to actually create their own ideas and create it into business, cooperate with teams from Finland, uh, people from Tallinn or from Riga, so it's a great opportunity for them. When we have our hackathon, always at the beginning of the year, so if there is someone with a fantastic idea and they would like to have more team members, but they need, for example, special people from Finland or from Riga or from Tallinn, so they can cooperate with each other and they can work together. So that that would be the cross-border kind of idea of the whole project. The ideal participant would be a team, of course, with different kind of nationalities and, of course, the cross-border idea, and would be teams with great attitude, great motivation, a great enthusiasm and also a great commitment, which is very important. And, of course, willing to bring everything further. And, of course, the idea is also like good, have to be like potential, but the motivation and their enthusiasm, and of course their passion is mainly the most important thing. There's a lot of success stories, some, but it's a process. It's not something that happens from one day to the next. It's a process. It takes a lot of work, a lot of sweating, a lot of sweat equity, a lot of commitment. The rate that people are failing is very high, but the thing is what you're doing. All the time when you're failing, you should sh just like, it's almost like if you're riding a horse, you fell down. You go up and you do it again. Or if you ride a motorbike, it's the same thing. But it's, it's sometimes, it could be the team, that the team might be a problem, that they don't work uh, like together how they should be. Of course, the commitment, that might be also like in the motivation. Because if you're like working very hard on your ideas and nothing really comes and you're getting like kind of negative feedbacks and sort of negative feedbacks, so it, it's sometimes very difficult to like stay positive. I think the commitment and uh, the team and also like uh, the motivation, that is sometimes the bit falls a little bit in that sense. But of course, if you fail, uh, you should just like analyze why. And if you find a solution, then you still can work on your idea afterwards or you just do something completely new. Uh, for example, in, in Rovio's case, they had like 50 different games which went completely like into the trash bin and suddenly Angry Birds came into the picture and it's a major success and in, uh, in, in Supercell's case it's the same. They had one game which was absolutely didn't work at all and suddenly they had a game and now they are like on top. So just stick to it and don't give up and keep on going and don't forget what you are aiming for. So that's everything.